A very good morning and jai children. Welcome to bio class. Children, as you know that we were doing the chapter living organism and their surroundings. And in the previous class, we have discussed about habitat and types of habitat. Isn't it? Today, we will again see the types of habitats and we will continue with the oral question answers and then we will study about adaptation. Alright? So, please be ready with your science book and pencil because we have to write the oral question. So, you will write it with pencil in the book only. Okay. So, let's start with it. So, I hope everybody is ready with their science book and pencil. So, I am going to start it. Uh, start with it. So, let's discuss children first what, is, what are the different types of habitat. And before that, let me again revise you what is habitat. Habitat is a place where the animals and plants survive, the place where they live and where they get all the facilities. This is called habitat. It's not that if an animal is in a small bureau or bull mein hai, and that, that becomes its habitat. No. The place where they get all the facilities. What are the facilities that an uh, animal require? Do they require a school? Do they have to go to a school? No. What are their necessities? Their necessities are food. Okay. Water. This is their necessity. Isn't it? So the place where animals and plants live and they get all their necessities and they fulfill all their necessities in that particular area is called its habitat. Alright, like a tiger is living in a forest or in a jungle, there he gets all types of food. He gets all the animals to hunt, he gets water, he gets a shelter, isn't it? So that forest is the habitat of tiger. Camel. Camel, the habitat of camel is desert. So in desert area, he gets all the necessities which are required for the camel to survive. Alright. So these are few type, few like this was the habitat that we have talked about. And now coming on to the next topic that is types of habitat. Children, basically we have two different types of habitats isn't it the two different types of habitats are aquatic and terrestrial aquatic and terrestrial aquatic is where water is present in aquatic mate aquatic ka matlab hota hai jahan pe hum pani ki baat kare okay pani ki baat kar rahe hai to we come across like sea ocean, river, lake, pond, all these things are containing water. Isn't it? So that is aquatic habitat. What about terrestrial habitat? Terrestrial habitat basically includes the land area and in land area also we have different types like desert. Isn't it? Where it is When you go to Rajasthan you see the desert. Isn't it? So, desert is one habitat. Okay. Then, if you go to a very polar, where there is snow fall, where there is icebergs, that is a polar region, that which is called tundra. That is one habitat. Okay. Then, we have mountains. So, there are few animals and plants that only survives in the mountain area. When you go to Masuri, when you go to uh, Shimla, or when you go to Himachal, any place. So there you see few different types of animals and plants. Those survive only in that particular area. Isn't it? Then we have a grassland. Grassland ka kya matlab hota hai bita? Jaha pe sirf grasses hai. Koi peer nahi hai, trees nahi hai. Sirf grasses hai. That place is called a grassland area. And we know what is grass. So that is called grassland area. Rainforest. In rainforest, 
we have a huge tall and taller trees okay which is very heavily dense so there are some plants and animals that live in that rainforest area okay so these are the few habitats where plants and animals survive got it and we have certain examples of it okay like take for example camel camel can only live in desert can camel live in water no camel cannot live in water isn't it or can camel live in a mountain area no camel cannot survive in a mountain place isn't it now take an example of penguin you must have seen penguin everybody has seen a penguin isn't it so penguin what happens can peng penguin live in here in banaras can it live here no he cannot survive here in banaras because of the climatic condition because of its structure body structure isn't it he cannot survive here so for our particular animals we have a particular habitat like can fish live can fish live without water no fish will die if they are out of water isn't it we have listened that na machli jal ki rani hai yes so fishes cannot survive without water so water is the habitat of fish clear got it similarly tiger cannot go and live in a desert area so every animal every species is having its own climatic condition to survive like polar bear can only survive in a icy and snowy area penguin can only survive in a polar area he cannot survive here all right he cannot survive in up he cannot survive in such places where the only land is there isn't it if they will die okay because of the unfavorable climatic condition got it so depending on the body structure of animals and plants they are surviving in a particular areas got it now we will see few examples of such animals okay so let's go to the chapter let's see what is written in the chapter let's see so we have done this we have completed this biotic and abiotic component we have seen this habitat now coming on to the types of habitat we have also read that but let's see so aquatic and water habitat water and aquatic habitat again they are subdivided into few categories like we have a salty water we have a plain water we have a water in a coastal area so let's see so aquatic habitats basically it includes water okay they are again subdivided marine habitat fresh water habitat and coastal habitats marine is where the water is salty jahan pe na pani kaisa hai namkeen hai jisme pani mein namak hai so this we can we the salty water we can find in sea and ocean isn't it have you ever have seen sea and ocean you must have seen it when you have gone for outing so sea and ocean basically has a salt water okay so there are few animals that survive in this salty water examples are whales shark so you must have seen whales and shark and sea turtle sea weeds all these animals survive in a marine habitat where the water is salty got it now coming on to next we have a fresh water fresh waters are not salty okay they are fresh water can be lakes river ponds stream so the water of lake river pond and stream are fresh water they are not salty water isn't it aap ganga ji ka pani dekhiye it is not salty okay so they are called fresh water so there are some animals that live in a fresh water like fish 
like water bugs like water lilies they survive in fresh water got it then we have a coastal habitat beta coastal is that area where sea and land are mixed together that area is called a coastal area as you can see here in the diagram this is a coastal area yahan pe kya hai ki sea ka water aur land ekdam end hai this is the end of sea yahan pe sea aake kya hua hai khatam ho gaya and land has just started so this is called a coastal area okay and there are certain animals that live that survives in this coastal area okay like we have examples like crabs we have oysters we have seaweeds we have mangrove plant so they only survive in a coastal habitat basically the animals that can survive in both water and land area are present in this कोस्टल हैबिटेट जब उनका मन करेगा तब वो पानी में चले जाएंगे जब मन करेगा तब वो लैंड पे चले जाएंगे सो बेसिकली सच एनिमल्स एंड सच प्लांट सर्वाइव इन अ कोस्टल एरिया एंड चिल्ड्रेन दिस पर्टिकुलर रीजन वे सी वॉटर एंड लैंड मीन्स इज कॉल्ड एस्टरी वॉट इट इज कॉल्ड बेटा एस्टरीज एस्टरीज आर द कोस्टल रीजन वे आर रिवर और स्ट्रीम containing fresh water meets with the salty water of the sea the place where the river water and sea water are mixed together that place is called estuary got it so this was about the aquatic or water habitat aquatic basically means water and it has a three different types that is marine habitat fresh water habitat and coastal habitat and there are few examples that you need to learn okay now coming on to next type of habitat that is terrestrial habitat what is terrestrial habitat so in terrestrial will basically talk about the land area okay let's see what is written land offers the best living condition because of the great differences in abiotic factors mainly temperature availability of water okay so you can see beta see the polar area jahan pe bahut thand hoti hai wahan ka temperature alag hota hai when you come to this land is up place uttar pradesh the temperature is different when you go to a higher places like jammu and kashmir and himalaya and where himachal pradesh they are the temperature is different all right so depending on different different temperature and the availability of water the animal survive on the land okay therefore the largest variety of organisms is found in land okay land organisms are called terrestrial organisms those organisms those animals and plants that survives on land you can take example like cow elephant dog whale like these uh, uh rhinoceros then we have tiger then we have asiatic lions so all they survive in a land isn't it so they are called terrestrial organism this dog is called terrestrial organism cat is called terrestrial organism because they are living in land and those who are living in water are called aquatic habitat okay like fishes like whales like what not seaweeds and everything they live in a water so they are called aquatic habitat and those who live in on land they are terrestrial okay now terrestrial habitat can be further divided into different types depending on living conditions they offer so now let's start with it we have desert desert mein kya hota hai beta wahan pe bahut kam rainfall hoti hai there is very little rainfall and the temperature is very hot and dry isn't it we even cannot survive there for a longer period of time so but there are some animals that survive in a desert area like camels like rats like snakes like cacti plant okay 
कैक्टाइ कैक्टस जिसमें ऐसे ऐसे नुकीले नुकीले निकले होते हैं वी कैन सी हियर पाइक्स आर देयर दिस इज अ कैक्टाइ दिस इज अ कैक्टस प्लांट वी हैव अ स्मॉल स्मॉल पाइक्स कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम दिस प्लेस ओके सो दे कैन सर्वाइव इन अ हॉट एंड ड्राई डेजर्ट एरिया और राइट Now coming on to a grassland habitat. Grassland habitat basically have only grasses, as you can see in this figure. There are only grasses you can find. Children, ah, uh, my picture is not so much clear. You can see in your book, only grasses are present. And what is the temperature here? Temperature is moderate. They have a moderate rainfall. Jitna hona chahiye, utni rainfall hoti hai. Okay, like. Zebras, giraffes, deer, lions, grasses—all they survive in a grassland habitat. Zebra survive there, giraffe survive survives there, deer, lions, grasses—all they survive in a grassland habitat, isn't it? Now coming on to next, we have a rainforest habitat. Rainforest habitat—you can see here. See. There are various long, long trees and a forest and a very dense environment is present here. Okay, so how is the temperature? The temperature of rainforest are hot and wet and get plenty of rain. इतनी बारिश होती है वहाँ पे बहुत बारिश होती है because of the presence of wet, like huge and dense amount of trees in a rainforest habitat. वहाँ पे बहुत सारा बहुत ज्यादा बारिश होती है ओके एंड द एनिमल्स दैट कैन सर्वाइव देयर आर मंकीज स्नेक टाइगर्स एंड हंड्रेड्स ऑफ वैरायटीज ऑफ ट्रीज बिकॉज दैट प्लेस इज सुटेबल फॉर और फेवरेबल फॉर प्लांट्स गॉट इट सो दिस इज रेन फॉरेस्ट हैबिटेट क्लियर नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट वी हैव टुंड्रा और पोलर हैबिटेट टुंड्रा और पोलर हैबिटेट मतलब जहां पे सिर्फ स्नो होते हैं दैट इज टुंड्रा और पोलर हैबिटेट एज यू कैन सी हियर इन द फिगर यू कैन सी ओनली स्नो प्रेजेंट ओवर हियर सो दिस इज टुंड्रा और पोलर हैबिटेट वेयर पोलर बियर लिव्स रेन डियर लिव्स पेंगुइन एंड वी हैव सम ग्रासेस सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन इट इज डिवाइडेड इनटू दीस टाइप्स ऑफ कैटेगरीज so you can see in the diagrams that are present all right then we have one more we have a mountain habitat are those that rise much higher and land surrounding them so there in mountain cold breeze and windy we breeze our uh, air is there is snowfall you can find in the mountain area okay so there are few animals that survive in mountain habitat they are goats Yaks, sheep, pines—they are present in a mountain habitat. Got it? So animals, depending on their structure and their function, they are present in different different habitats. So this was about the types of habitat. I hope it is clear to you. Now, children, let's quickly go to these oral question answers. Let's quickly see what are the oral question answers. Please take out your pencil, kids. Hurry up! Take out your pencil. Let's do this oral question answer. Okay, now can we start with it? All right. Question number one. If you study the relationship between living things and their surroundings, which subject? Are you studying? So I have told you this answer, beta. So if we are studying about relationship between in living thing and non-living thing, so we are studying about environment, isn't it? And the study of environment is called the subject that deals with environment. The study of environment is called ecology, isn't it? You can see here in the text. the study of this is called ecology right see the study of relationship between living things and their environment is called ecology so what is the answer answer is 
इकोलॉजी राइट इट डाउन ई सी ओ एल ओ जी वाई इकोलॉजी डन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द नेचुरल एनवायरमेंट कंसिस्ट ऑफ एयर वॉटर सॉइल सनलाइट एंड टेम्परेचर इन अ प्लेस डू यू अग्री गिव रीजन यस चिल्ड्रेन डू यू अग्री विद दिस नो द आंसर इज नो वाई बिकॉज दे आर ओनली टॉकिंग अबाउट ए बायोटिक कंपोनेंट वॉट अबाउट बायोटिक कंपोनेंट लिविंग थिंग्स आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इज इंड इट इन द नेचुरल एनवायरमेंट बायोटिक कंपोनेंट्स आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट सो राइट नो राइट द आंसर नो एंड पुट अ कॉमा एंड देन राइट नेचुरल एनवायरमेंट कंसिस्ट ऑफ बोथ बायोटिक एंड ए बायोटिक कंपोनेंट्स इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू राइट इट आई सेंड दिस पी डी एफ टू यू डोंट वरी यू कैन राइट फ्रॉम देयर ओके डन नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इन द वर्ल्ड ऑटो ट्रॉफ ट्रॉफ मीन्स फूड वॉट डज ऑटो मीन सो ऑटो मीन्स सेल्फ What does auto mean? Auto means self. S e l f self. So write here self. Write it down self. What kind of living organism in this name is this name given to? Yes, the organism is green plants. So the green plants are auto trough. So write down green plants. Why? Why green plants are called autotrophs, children? Because they make their own food. That is why they are called autotrophs. Done. Because they make their own food. That is why they are called autotrophs. Clear? Okay. Question number four. Name five abiotic components of the environment. We have to tell. five a biotic components so write the answer answer is air water soil sunlight and temperature so these are the five a biotic component so the answer is written here you can write it down here you will write here what you will write you will write air water soil sunlight and temperature these are a biotic component of the environment clear next question number 5 is the bureau of a rabbit its habitat kya rabbit bureau jo hota hai bureau is what it is a small hole or a small uh, gufa type it is a small cave like a structure where the rabbit lives okay so is that a rabbit's habitat I don't think so because in that bureau the rabbit will not sorry the rabbit will not get the food to eat he cannot survive there so write the answer no the answer is no only write down no okay so done with this oral questions i'll send this pdf to you beta don't worry okay so that was about the types of habitat and this oral question answer now let's quickly jump to the adaptation what is adaptation let's see what is adaptation so first let's understand what is adaptation and then we'll jump to the topic okay adaptation children adaptation means to adapt to adapt means कि किसी भी कंडीशन या क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन या एनवायरमेंटल कंडीशन को हमने एक्सेप्ट कर लिया है या हम उस एनवायरमेंटल कंडीशन में सरवाइव कर पा रहे हैं सो दैट इज कॉल्ड इट्स एडेप्टेशन लाइक कैमल हैज अ एडेप्टेशन ऑफ डेजर्ट लाइक टाइगर हैज अ एडेप्टेशन ऑफ रेन फॉरेस्ट like fishes have a adaptation of water all right like polar bear has a adaptation of tundra or a snow area got it 
so this is the adaptation so one by one we'll talk about all kinds of adaptation and how and why they can survive there children before that i would like to i would like to take your focus towards the animals children you must have seen fishes isn't it so fishes are having different type of structure they are having fins isn't it they are having gills isn't it they don't have lungs they cannot breathe isn't it similarly let's go to the camel so you can see the camels are very highly matlab unki height bahut zyada hoti hai unke humps hote hain upar aur unke paws jo unke legs hote hain wo niche se flat hote hain okay and they have a different type of a body structure okay they have a different type of habitat children the camels are having a capacity to store maximum amount of water inside them okay they do not require water every time to drink jab hamesha zaruri nahi hota hai camel ko thode thode der pe pani peena hai kyunki wo pani ko kya kar sakte hain store kar sakte hain and that is why they can survive in a desert area okay so till this chapter in this topic uh, which is adaptation we'll talk about the structures of animal and what are the things that are making these animals to survive in a particular areas okay so this is adaptation let's see what is written in the chapter so i am children today we are just going into just a brief of this in next class we'll continue and i'll give you a detailed picture of this adaptation okay so let's start with this adaptation most species of organisms are found in a type of habitat and are unable to survive in other habitats for example camels live in desert and are now not, not found in a rainforest camels in desert mein milta hai rainforest mein nahi milta hai a fish cannot live on land okay plants and animals usually have features that help them to survive in a particular type of a habitat this these are known as adaptation got it just now i have explained it to you camels cannot survive in a rainforest area they can only live in desert fishes can only live in water they cannot survive outside water on land okay so this is their habitat and this is called their adaptation so living in a particular area or a particular type of habitat is called adaptation for example the gills of fish is an adaptation that helps it to survive in water so the gills of fish is the adaptation that helps it to survive in water got it so in this uh, topic we have to study about adaptation of desert habitat then we'll talk about adaptation of water habitat then we'll talk about adaptation of polar and mon mountain habitat okay adaptation for grassland habitat adaptation for tropical rainforest all right so this we will study in the next class so these are the very 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 important topics we'll see how these animals can survive in a particular type of habitat basically plants and animals both how they can survive in such habitats this we will study in the next class so that's all about today's class children i'll send you the pdf of oral question answers so please do it in your book only okay now nobody will ask me ma'am where we have to do the oral questions okay so just do it in your book itself okay so that's all for today thank you and jai hind children